For the parafob, the little design, I prefer just a simple basic overhand, not, nothing special. But for the bracelet, I prefer an Ashley stopper knot. Take a loop, fold it down so you have two loops, tuck one loop in here, take the tail, stick it into that loop. Now tighten this side first, then this, and then finally the tail at the top. I like having a nice large uh, tail here because this acts as an assist when you're both putting the bracelet on and taking the bracelet off. It acts as a quick release. The Ashley stopper knot has this nice, I don't know if you can see it here, it's called a trefoil, three lobes, and they make a nice even surface when the stopper knot is being pulled on. I have a little Sharpie pre-mark there so I know exactly how long to start at. I make this first coil tight, but then as I twist on the, the remainder, I'm applying only a light pressure and letting the inner runs hang straight down. I do not want them to corkscrew around each other and I pull them straight periodically. This is a 10 foot piece of paracord and by coiling it loosely so that the coils are touching each other but they're not yet compressed against each other, the 10 foot leaves almost 2 feet. Now I compress the coils downward making enough space for the balance and then coil that on using the same technique. Compress the coils down again. Stick the tip in to the top loop. Now compress the coils in the other direction. Bit by bit, keeps it even. You can now neaten it by rolling. There we have a completed bracelet. Let's try it on. I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger. like to keep this tab nice and long, especially if you're a beginner. makes it much easier to put these on and take them off. Some people don't like having any tail at all. All they have is the stopper knot. But I'm not that experienced at putting these on and taking them off, so I like a nice long tail. So there we have the end result. Removal is very quick, also thanks to this. You stick that into the loop and then when you pull this from the other side, it acts as a quick release. Voila! So you take your bracelet off, and now you have 10 feet of paracord. The fastest way to deploy it is as such. takes about six seconds or so, but what's nice is that it has nice straight even results without any twisting. This wire is nice, ready to go paracord. Here's why I don't recommend deploying this in the traditional <coughs> parafob method of just holding the bundle and pulling and it's because the end result will be extremely twisted. Here's an example of it. You see how incredibly twisted this is? Uh, you 
you can undo it pretty quickly. However, the advantage of the finger swirl method that I've come up with is that it completely undoes this as you deploy the rope. So it's a one-step process. Whereas with this, you have to bit by bit undo it. And this takes much longer. Another use for the bracelet is as a gear handle. What you can do is take any device such as this Maxpedition FR1, anything that has two D-rings, for instance, or this has these convenient loops here. What you do is you stick the bracelet through the loops. You then connect the bracelet as if you were wearing it. And now you can tighten this so that it cannot come undone. You pull the center cord and that tightens the hole so that now it can't come undone. Don't do this while wearing as a bracelet or else you could get in trouble and never be able to remove it easily. Now slide this part inside. And now you've got a nice little carry handle. It's convenient that your wrist size is also apparently your grip size. So this can be added as a grip to a backpack uh, or any design really, any design that you want to have a pull mechanism on. You can wrap it as a handle around anything using a girth hitch. You can either undo it by undoing the girth hitch or you can undo the stopper nut hole by pulling the loop, making it large enough for the stopper nut to escape. Here I have it wrapped a couple of loops going around my bicycle frame. It's a frame plus one tire. Let's me pick up the bicycle or anything heavy quite easily. Let me try and give you a wider view. To undo it, you simply get to the goods underneath. If the hole's not big enough, you're going to have to pull it open. And now you've got a nice little 10 foot piece of paracord on your gear for emergency use. And you just pull it slightly, stick your finger in the hole up top, continue to pull and it completely unravels and is completely untangled in just seconds.